Welcome everyone to my new let's play of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Kingdom Hearts is my f all time favorite series next to Pokemon. Uh, when we go turn based RPG, Pokemon, when we go action RPG, it's Kingdom Hearts. And here I'm going to start playing the Final Mix version which, is, which was only a Japanese only game until just recently. Well not just recently but last year we got we finally got it in North America and I'm actually going to do a full let's play of it not 100% because it's going to take too long but I'm just going to beat the game but with, with a little twist I'm going for an, an achievement right now it's um, called what's it called the unchanging armor achievement where you go through the game with Sora Donald and Goofy and do not change any equipment that they have whatsoever so you cannot equip something new or re replace what they have from the very start and I need I wanted this achievement and I decided to do a let's play of it I'm gonna do this on beginner mode because it's gonna be really difficult and it's gonna be something interesting I, w I would do it on proud mode but I don't want I don't want to kill myself and go insane um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I want to start the game, and the the thing is, uh, the song that's gonna play right now, I'm gonna mute that because it's heavily cop heavily copywritten, and I don't want to get a uh, strike. So let's play. Oh, by the way, if you want to skip the opening intro, click this annotation right here on the screen. And it'll put you to where there's actually gameplay. I've been having these weird thoughts lately. Like... Is any of this for real or not?
Okay, so I can skip cutscenes if I want to, but because this is a let's play, I'm going to watch through the cutscenes. And if you want to skip them, I think what I'm going to do is just put annotations so you can skip through parts if they're long cutscenes. If they're not long cutscenes, I won't do that. Now, can I walk forward? Yes, I can. Alright, so now, right here, we choose, uh, like, we choose sword, staff, or, sh or shield, and then we give one away. Because this is going to be a, ki a kingdom key only ability, uh, playthrough, because for, for the achievement, it has to go between either sword or, st or staff, and because my attack is so weak, magic might be more important. Yeah, magic's gonna be more important because I'm gonna be super. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Magic based attacks will be really helpful because I'll be super weak in attack. But if I increase my attack, I should be able to do enough damage. And I can grind off screen anyway if I want to. So. No, I want magic. I want magic. Because the p picking what one of these, whatever you pick. It also determines what your level skill tree is going to be. So, if because I, I chose staff, I might get more magic based skills earlier than as if I were to pick sword where I get more physical. And because defense isn't really needed as much, and I, I'd, rather not, I'd rather not give up my attack and keep the attack I'm, I will have. Because with this, I can just use magic and use cure, and done. Only Goofy can heal me in this game, so I'll be I'll be fine. And yes, this is what I will choose: take staff and give away shield. At least we get into gameplay faster than we do in Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh, and yeah, I should mention. I will do a let's play of Kingdom Hearts 2.5 of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. I don't know what difficulty I'll do it on. Probably normal, just so I can beat the game and do everything, except gummy missions. But that that's not until December 2nd when it comes out. But I won't record until like after I get out of college. You've gained the power to fight. Let's fight with a Mickey Club. <clears throat> All right, I got it. Use this power to protect yourself and others. And that on the bottom right of my screen is my HP, the green bar, and blue is my magic. I believe if I if I chose a uh, sword, I would only have two magic or something like that. When you defeat enemies, they drop items. These green orbs are health orbs. And there's other type of orbs. There's money and magic orbs. And that's it. Behind you! R1 to lock on, go! Cow. Die. Yeah, these guys only die in three hits. To start off, even with the sword. So I should probably get into the basis of the game. It, you know, it's an action RPG. You move in real time. You attack in real time. And you know, you have your strength, attack, your uh, your attack stat, your magic stat, and your defense stat, and your an HP stat. But obviously, those are given. And as you level up, you gain new abilities, either more stat increases, and that, that's about it, essentially. So in Kingdom Hearts 1, the, the triangle commands used to be on, on this one right here, but now they're triangle. So a little bit better. Makes it easier so you don't have to scroll down. It's a chest. Let's go open it. get a potion I think maybe doesn't tell me 
It's a box. Oh, we can push boxes. Yeah, I want to break it. Breaking's more important. I can smash them. There you go. And we got a potion. I don't, uh, enemy drops are also like item drops or have a different type of have a different type of look depending what they are yeah I, I can see that I think I have to break this? yeah I do I forgot the beginning already hey the door's visible we can go through it now can we? yes we can let's go No, the light! It burns! Sora, no! Don't go through it! And yes, your main character's name is called Sora. If you're one of the people who have not played this game, if you haven't played this game, you really should. It is a fantastic game. It is probably just one of those old games from PS2 era. It's worth, worth playing. Okay, so now we talk to these three people and they're from other Final Fantasy games what's most important to you so these three people will, will, are gonna ask you questions depending what questions you answer uh, with depending on what your answers are determines how fast you level up in the beginning of the game and how you fast you level up at the end of the game so choosing all number one the first answer to each of them uh, you level up fast early but late game you level up slow Second one, it's middle middle, so they're pretty average on how you level up. And the last one, you level up slow at at, at first, but then you level up fast at the end. Which, I, because I'm going uh, keep uh, kingdom key only, it's best to go slow early so, and l late game to go really really fast levels, so I can grind. And you can tell what they are. If it's at the break of dawn, you got the the sl the fast and then slow. If you get midday, you get the e the easy both ways. If you get the dead of night, that's the you level up slow early and then fast later. And I think it's around like level thirty something when that takes a, into effect when they switch the level curve. So it'll be a little while before I get like over leveled, but it won't be too long. I'm walking. Game. There you go. I'm like, what the hell? I was wondering why it wasn't working. Oh no! It's a thing! I don't know what they're called. Yes, they do, but you probably don't. So these are the basic enemies of the game. They're called Shadows. And the enemies in the game, like, like, in general, like the enemies are called Heartless. They have no hearts. And this is the gen most generic one. It's called the Shadow, like I said before. And as you can see, I said 1P. That means one experience point. So one point of experience. That right there is a save point. Where uh, if you walk in it, you gain all your magic back and all your health back. And you press triangle to save. I already told I told them game. It's a staircase. With stained glass. Okay. So if you're playing beginner mode like I am. You get all this. You get power ups, defense ups, and AP ups. AP ups allows you. It is basically, um, how to say, the more AP you have, the more the more AP you have, the more abilities you can equip. So that's essentially what it is. I'm I'm gonna quickly add this all up because this is really important. So I don't die early game because I'm using Kingdom Key only. Four more APs. Okay. If you're playing on beginner mode, I mean, um, 
normal mode. I'm gonna save here. Uh, I'm gonna write over my fourth file. If you if you play in normal mode, you don't get this. If you play prow mode, you get something called EXP zero, where it means you get no experience whatsoever and you will stay level one forever. Which is a challenge, but kind of a good thing at times because it doesn't. It also makes enemies. I think it makes enemies your level or pretty close to your level as opposed to being super over leveled. So it makes it a bit easier. It has its uses and some glitches and, and speedrunning. If you've not seen a speedrun in this game, you sh kind of should. It, they're pretty interesting. Kingdom Hearts 2 is a lot better. Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Level 1 Critical Mode is fantastic for speedrun. So now we're going to get into a boss battle. So our shadow. This enemy is called Dark Side. It's just a giant heartless. He's not hard, especially with all the attack boosts we got because we're in beginner mode. He's a joke. Watch me die now because I said that. Stack his hand. He's gonna mash the ground. He's gonna jump. Fake it and hit. You should be able to beat him pretty quickly because you have all the attack boosts. Just keep mashing away. And it's more hard to on proud mode, I'll take a little bit longer. He could potentially kill you on proud mode. Because uh, in proud mode, you ba you basically get two shotted by anything if you're not using EXP zero. Because they'll be super over leveled. If you're using EXP zero, they will still two shot you, but it's a, I don't know. It's pretty hard. It's a fun challenge, but it's hard. I love doing it. And now we're here. We're getting engulfed by the darkness. And we died. Game over.